Everyone, please rise for the national anthem. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Oxford College Mississauga's second graduation ceremony for our class of 2018, 2019 graduates, and future graduates. My name is Anne, and I'll be your host tonight. I'd like to start the night with welcoming our honored guests, family members, graduates, future graduates, and our very own faculty. We're gathered here tonight to celebrate the achievements of our graduates who sit before you today. I'm so delighted to be here among these high achievers. Graduation day is always a day of rejoicing because it marks an end and a beginning to a better life and a better future. And this day signifies so many days of hard work and sacrifice. All of you chose to come to Oxford for various reasons, whether it was giving you and your family a better future, looking for better job prospects, or looking for another career. You made this decision because it's something that you are passionate about, and we hope you live with that pride each and every day. Congratulations for all that you've accomplished and good luck to all that you'll achieve in the future. Let's give us a round of applause. So to inaugurate today's ceremony, I'd like to invite Mr. Wajid and Mr. Rani to cut the cake. Now, I'd like to welcome Mr. Uzzer, Vice President of Oxford College, to the stage to give his address. Everyone, please give him a warm welcome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the President, the management, the staff, and the faculty of Oxford College, it is with great pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to our convocation ceremony. We are delighted that you are able to celebrate this special occasion with us. Graduation, a milestone in the lives of all the graduates, is a joyous time for not only the graduates, but their loved ones and mentors who have played a key role in their education. Today marks an important day for all of our graduates. It is the beginning of a journey. To get to this point was an important achievement in itself, to which we commend you. The personal competencies that got you here, including passion, commitment, tenacity, open minds to learn, will be more important throughout your lives. Nurture them. They will be even more important than what you have learned. To all the graduates that are present here this evening, we are truly honored to be a part of your success story, and we look forward to continue to assist you in achieving your dreams and aspirations of becoming professionals. Congratulations to each and every one of you. <clears throat> I'd also like to take this opportunity to extend a special thank you to our guest of honor, uh, Mr. Ron Starr, our city councillor. Thank you for being here today, taking time out of your busy schedule. We are proud to be a part of the Mississauga community, and we look forward to continue 
to work closely together towards making a positive difference as we take a step forward to transform the lives of many and build an even stronger community for future generations. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank Team Mississauga, led by our campus manager, Rani Galli. What an amazing job you guys have done to put this event together. It is evident that a lot of hard work and dedication went into making today's ceremony special and memorable for all of us. Thank you. The Mississauga campus continues to grow. We have currently added three new programs that, are, that we're offering uh, as of immediately. We've added a department in the pharmaceutical technology industry. So we will be offering our pharmaceutical manufacturing technologist program, as well as a pharmaceutical quality assurance, quality control program. And we've also added a new program, dental hygiene. As I leave, a noteworthy, a noteworthy quotation from our famous philosopher, Confucius. Our greatest glory is not in ever failing, but in rising every time we fail. Thank you, everyone, and once again, congratulations to all the graduates. Thank you, Ezra, for your warm words. They were greatly appreciated. Now I'd like to welcome our academic manager, Ms. Nakia Myers. Everybody, let's give her a round of applause. Good evening, everyone. Graduates, family and friends, I'm honored to be here today to speak at your graduation. Simply, these students. They're a very likable group of men and women. They are kind, modest, humble, and hardworking. They have quietly gone through their studies without demanding attention or spotlight. I appreciate their resourcefulness, their eagerness, and the valued contribution they have made to Oxford College. In this evening's address, I draw upon the wisdom of Nelson Mandela. What counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead. Today, you have accomplished one of the major milestones of your lives, college graduation. This is a major step in the journey of your life and one that should be recognized for its immense significance. It is an act not only of personal commitment, but also one of pride. You have all worked hard to get to this day, and your work could not go to waste. A college diploma is a wonderful tool in this country, one that opens many doors of opportunities. In making the decision to go to college, you've opened up a door to a whole new world of opportunities. The more education you attain, the more doors you will open. Today, we celebrate a commencement, a beginning, a start. As someone who believes in lifelong education, it is my hope that this is only the beginning of your educational journey. But graduation is not a goal, sorry, but graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a part of a larger journey of life. Wherever the future takes you, let it take you somewhere, because life is a journey, and all the accomplishments we achieve during this, its course should be taken as a starting point for further achievement. Your graduation should serve as a launching point, projecting you to whatever future that is meant for you to take. But you don't have to stop here. This graduation has shown you've already, you're already capable of accomplishing your goals when you commit yourself to them. I hope all of you today can take this personal accomplishment as an example of how anything is truly possible when you put your mind to it. As you continue on in your lives, knowing that you've achieved great heights and are equipped with the necessary tools to tackle your future, remember us, because we will always remember you. Many of you have faced uh, challenges along the way. You've gone to school in between working and taking care of family. 
there are times when I'm sure that you wanted to give up, but you did not. You persevered and it has paid off. The road that lies ahead won't be easy. There may, they may be obstacles and miss exits, potholes and roadblocks. There will be times when each of you will feel like you can't possibly go on. And there will be times when you will think you are alone. But you are not alone. We are all here in this room and at Oxford on this journey with you. You've made it all this far and nothing worthwhile is easy. And that includes everything you've worked for. So keep pushing, keep moving forward, because you know that you can achieve your dream, because you are worth it. In closing, there is pride in your eyes. There is hope in your heart. There are plans of glory in your minds. Go forth with your achievements and change not only your lives, but change the lives of others and all around you. Thank you. Thank you, Nikia, for your inspirational words. Now I'd like to welcome somebody that we all are very, very familiar with. He cares about each and every single one of you, your journey, your future goals, and without him, today's event would not be possible. It's funny, we actually discussed this today. His two main policies are great customer service and fantastic teamwork. And I can say with the conviction that without his teachings, we would not be here today. So let's give a very, very loud Oxford welcome to Mr. Rani Ghali. Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you today? Good. Okay. So I'm so glad to see everyone here today. So let me, you know, I want to start off by welcoming our honored guests, family members, graduating students and faculty to Oxford College second graduation ceremony. <clears throat> so before I get started, I want to take the time to thank our guest speaker, Mr. Ron Starr, to taking a time out of his busy schedule to be with us here today. Thank you, Mr. Ron. <clears throat> From the time of its inception in that year 2003, Oxford College has had the honor and the privilege to be known as a rising leader in the both secondary education sector and in particular among the private career colleges sphere. At Oxford College, we committed to providing our students with the best possible education to, pre to prepare them for the future. We want to change people's lives through education. We will come here in Mississauga, all the newcomers, and will give them the opportunities in order for them to flourish in Canada by helping them obtain the education they need to enter the job market and start their careers. We had about 300 students graduated from our campus in Mississauga within the last year. 70% of which are immigrants. Guys, I'm so proud to say we started here in Mississauga in 2017 with 43 students only. And now, guess how many we have in our campus? 530 students. So, our dedication has always been towards the steadfast goal of providing individuals from all culture, social, and economic backgrounds with the opportunity to achieve their academic and professional aspiration, thereby improving their future and the quality of life. We are very involved in our community. We are always having different outreach events across the city here, and this is to give back to the community as well. In fact, we always have our students out in Square One helping in all the events there and offering free massages and talking to people there, you know, in order for them to be a part of, their, of the community as well. We also give back to community by using our medical lab to run blood drive donation. 
so we can continue to help others as a team. These outreach events bring communities together and help both local citizens and newcomers learn more about the many benefits that are available to them through the dedication of students such as those attending Oxford College. Our Mississauga campus, as everyone knows here, offers a welcoming environment to all our students. So we are all like a big family. We have events all the time in the campus. Our staff actively interacts with our students, and there is always a plenty of food to go around everyone. So if everyone wants to eat any time, which class they go for? Clinical research. Where is the clinical research? Yes, and business management as well. Sometimes they have also some good food, yeah. So, yes, our goal is, you know, we care about each other and our students as well, and our goal is to be there for our students. It is not just about academics, guys, but it's also about learning experience. We handle challenges as a team and always support one another. I am very proud to work at Oxford College, and I am very proud of our graduating 2019 class for working hard and contributing to their community. And I wish the best of luck in your choosing careers and hope that you are all very proud of yourselves for your accomplishments. Now, I want to take this time to thank everyone who helped me to take this, to make this event possible. This graduation ceremony, guys, wouldn't be possible without the hard-working people behind the scenes who were instrumental in the success of this event. Thank you to Ambreen, Hala, Anne, Mahmoud, and Tariq, who would work hard to make the event possible. I would also like to thank our executive management team who are here with us today, Mr. Wajid, our president, Mr. Azhar, our Vice President, Mr. Mazhar, our Vice President, Ms. Nisreen, our Executive Director, and Ms. Zahra and Ms. Khadija, our Marketing Coordinators, for always supporting our campus when we need help and, we for, and for giving us all the resources to grow as a college. So thank you, everyone here. So the last here, thanks for giving me this attention today. And there's a time now to get the mic back to Anne. Thanks, everyone, and congratulations. Thank you, Rani, for saying those wonderful words to our graduates. Now I'd like to introduce somebody who was encouraged by Ms. McCallion to run for council because of his immense background in business. He's worked in large-scale project management, and as an engineer, he has a way of taking a big problem and breaking it down into manageable parts. He wants to help our residents, and he has a generous heart for giving back. Let's give a loud applause for Councillor Ron Starr. Well, at least I get a little bit of exercise going up and down. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for inviting me to the senior staff and the management team. Uh, you've done a great job. I mean, look at the sea of blue and yellow out there. Blue and yellow, by the way, to all the graduates, are my favorite colors. <laughs> and you say, well, why, why is it blue and yellow your favorite colors? Well, my background is Ukrainian, and the, and the national colors of the Ukraine is blue and yellow. And if anybody uh, remembers, uh, for the last two or three elections, uh, I, in Ward 6, where the college is located, my signs were blue and yellow. So you see, I'm loyal to my country. I'm also uh, loyal. To, I, just think, I just think it's something that uh, we, we all have to, I, I think about this sometimes, don't give up your traditions. And I see many, many backgrounds. Uh, Rani, did, did you ever ask how many countries are represented at uh, Oxford? So many, he says so many. I'll bet you it's 50, 60, because in Ward 6, we speak 67 languages. 67. So I know that there's a broad spectrum. I just want to say to the graduates for a moment, you've had probably a gravel road, and I think 
the, the, uh, Ms. Myers spoke to that. It's been a rough road. Sometimes you wonder if you're, you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. You're, you're helping yourself, you're helping your families, and you're helping your future families, which I think is so important. Uh, I, I can speak to this a little bit. Uh, I, I, I didn't finish high school. And people said, well, just a minute, you went to university. That's right. I went to university because I started taking courses after high school so I could get the extra courses to get into university. And then, being from a humble background, I had to work, I had to work, I had to work. My father, uh, by the way, he'd say, very similar, he said, Rani, Rani, why you need to go to school? I said, Dad. I don't want to work like you. I don't want to work, you know, always working, working, and then no sense of accomplishment. Ronnie, get a good job, get a good job. I said, Pop, I want to get a good job. And that's what all you folks have done here. You're working for yourself, you're working for your families. So you got to give yourselves a hand because you really, you know, you got to be proud of yourself. And to me, to me, that's all about life. The other thing, you've t all taken various courses, and no matter what you've taken, don't feel obligated or entrenched in the fact that you have to stay in that field. There are times when you say, you know what, I've got a background in this, and I think I want to try that. If your heart says you want to try it, try it. Try it. I was a research engineer, I, I, and I worked in the U.S. for a while. I was for a very large company, the Aluminum Company of America. And I worked on developing cans, you know, cans, I mean, beer cans, sardine cans, and all the rest of it. And even though I had the Bachelor of Science in Engineering, I said, oh, I don't know if this is what I want to do. So I started doing other things. And I took financial courses, all at night school, because I still didn't know what I wanted to do in life. I was in my mid-twenties, and, and then I'd say to myself, Ron, what do you want to do in life? And then my wife would look at me, oh, by the way, in university, I already had my first child, and first year out of university, I had my second daughter. So you want to talk about tough? That's a gravel road. That's a gravel road. But then you ask yourself, just ask yourself, is what you've taken what you really want to do the rest of your life? Maybe. But at the same time, don't give up on the fact that, that you still can go on and on. And I think I heard that advice from the, from the senior management and the teachers, and they'll probably tell you the same thing, because that's the advice I got. So if you feel you want to do something else, try it. If you want to share your education, try it. The only advice, uh, or a little bit of advice I, I, I'd like to give uh, all the graduates is, as you get into the working field, and I know there's a great I guess variety of ages here. Volunteer in your community. Volunteer in your community. And it doesn't have to be much. I volunteer, I still mentor professional engineers uh, coming from other countries. And why do I do that? Because sometimes the, I think the immigrants and other people from other countries don't understand the system, they need a little bit of help, and I think those people who have gone through the system should help. And you've gone through the system, and if you can help anybody, volunteer a little bit. And it doesn't, you know, you can even take courses at school, uh, further in school, and I'm sure as the college grows, they're going to get bigger and bigger. If you keep growing this way, Mr. President, we're going to have to reserve the Paramount Center for graduation in five years. That, that only holds 5,000 people, though. But that's what happens. You see, you have a success story here and in Ward 6 in the city of Mississauga. We're very proud. We're very proud of Oxford. So we're very proud of you. Get on with the graduation. And the best thing in life is have fun. You've made a lot of friends here. Don't let go of those friends. And don't forget, volunteer and be happy. Thanks very much. Oh, by the way, the, the, mayor, the, mayor, the mayor said hello to all of you, and so I'm bringing greetings. And, and by the way, this hall is one of the best in Canada, so that's the other thing. Now that, how many people have ever been in, in Living Arts Center before? Wow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here's a challenge. Over the next two years, I want to see you all come back to some sort of performance. There's all kinds of performances here that you'd all enjoy. 
The other thing uh, that I, 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 I want to surprise the President and Ronnie is that since the college is in Ward 6, what I'd like to do for the college, and since they've grown and since they've done such a good job, is that I'd like to uh, uh, honor the students starting, well, we can start this year, starting, I don't know how you do it, but starting next year, I'd like to have a small scholarship, and we can talk about how it is, but not the smartest student, not the student that, you know, works the hardest, but which student emulates the type of student that they'd like to be. And you'd have a people's choice. All the people can vote for them, and we'll come up with a small scholarship of, say, $500 uh, for the year, and, and it'd be something from the city that, you know, it's, it's just something that you could treasure. So that's my little gift to Oxford and to you, because you've worked so hard, you know, and keep up the good work. That's all I can say. I get if, I'm, if I'm excited, I'm excited, because I have my grandkids right now, they're starting to go through the same thing. And, uh, you know, it's difficult uh, if you don't have that education, if you don't help yourself and, and keep on going. So on behalf of all of us at the city of Mississauga, the mayor, myself, uh, keep up the good work and, you know, just remember, what's the, what's the main word? Oxford, come on, Oxford. All together, come on, Oxford. Don't be afraid. They're not going to fail you. <laughs> Oxford. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Ronstar. I guess number one, we should probably put a de deposit down on Paramount Center. That would be a great start. And number two, scholarships. So I guess get your friends to come to Oxford. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce our next speaker. Um, she was a previous student here for our dental program, and she's going to give some inspirational words to us. So let's please welcome Ms. Mariam Raphael. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Miriam Raphael, a grad student of class 2018 from the Oral Dental Assistant Program. On behalf of, of, of Oxford College, I extend heart you welcome con congress to all grads here attending here today. Please let us all give them a big applause. <laughs> These are the grads that will enter Drive's future profession in healthcare, business, and technology. I would like to thank the Honorable College Chairman, teachers, grads, and all guests attending here today for giving me, uh, that, for giving me the chance to attend and share my graduate, gratitude and experience of being an alumni grad from Oxford College. As a new immigrant in, 2000, in 2016, it was difficult to decide on which path of career and study to choose. However, in 2017, I have registered into the Oral Dental Assistant Program here at, at, Os at Oxford College. I can truly say that choosing Oxford College was, and starting a new career in healthcare program here in Canada was one of the best decisions I have made ever. Last year, I was sitting amongst the graduates celebrating my achievement. After, after a challenging educational journey, the challenges I faced and something I believe that many of us have faced while on, on, on the same journey is the, is, is the beginning of everything new. Studying in a new language, in a new country, and trying to build a new career and future especially in the absence of parents and family support, was uneasy. Many of people I know, including myself, have gone through these challenges, which at one time each of us thought we were facing this alone. However, we all know that challenges help us grow, and what made it much easier 
was being surrounded by my, my classmates and having their full support. We were like a family that would study and socialize together. During finals, I had to have a surgery and was scared that I would fail. However, my classmates visited me during this difficult time and even went to the extent and studying and to extent of studying with me. It wasn't easy, but with my classmates' positive support and energy, I succeed. I can honestly say that as a former Oxford College graduate, I have received the support and encouragement from all of my teachers, my classmates. Success has journey where people see the result, but only you know. Perseverance, disciplines, resistance, and criticism and courage help learn about yourself and grow. However, the most important is your faith and your confidence in yourself. I have learned to tell myself that I'm able to achieve anything. And eventually, I, you arrived and stand here today to celebrate this achievement. Today is not the end of journey, but it's the beginning of, of a route of continuous growth. And what I can offer to each of you as a tip, as you go to, to work out, is to believe in yourself and your ability to, to complete any challenge successfully, no matter how hard it may. In the end, you will success, succeed, even if you don't achieve your expected result. The most important things that you find pleasure in your work so others can find fun to working with you. Self-confidence and discipline are the main factors to, to real success. We must strive to find the path to success. It's not enough to reach success, but it's important that we remain successful. I do wish all grads here today prosperous career and hope everyone enjoy this wonderful evening. Congrats again and thank you. Thank you, Mariam, for your great words to our class of 2018-2019. We will now have the commencement of the graduates. Graduates will be called up by program, and our photographer to the right of the hall will take individual photos as the graduates are handed their diplomas and awards. Academic Achiever Award is for those graduates who are recognized for outstanding achievement and their positive contribution within their program of study. Students nominated for this award are thoughtful problem solvers who work well with their peers. They are involved in community outreach and demonstrate a passion for lifelong learning and their average is the highest among their peers. Our next award is our Outstanding Leadership Award and it's for those graduates who are highly engaged at the college and work to foster a connection with our alumni and future students. Students nominated for an Outstanding Leadership Award continuously work to find ways to make meaningful connections between past and future graduates. Outstanding Placement Award is for those students who demonstrate great initiative, drive, enthusiasm, and skill while on placement. Students nominated for an Outstanding Placement Award show commitment to the placement site through excellent attendance, punctuality, professionalism, and successfully obtaining employment in their field. I now ask our campus manager, Mr. Wajid, and our program instructors to present diplomas and awards to our graduates. Let's begin with our medical lab technician graduates. Aya Al-Fadli. Zina Mako. Sarah Salim. <laughs> Salvation Aigle. <laughs> 
Charlene May Reyes. Nyla Salisu. George Nyaberry. Suzanne Yacoub, with honors. Rebecca Apollonia, with honors. Bensi Sebastian, with honors. Jennifer Kawang, with honors. Liberty Joy Zulita, with honors. Now we will begin with our future graduates. Rong Huang. Maribel Batak. Zeba Jabin. Ma Ajela Rabines. Bea Israel Shakala. Rashida Farhat Abdul Rahim. Joy Venicente. Sharn Barrett. Cherry May D. Reyes. Fatima Albitar. <laughs> Noor Alaiti. <laughs> Alam Alhawi. Aman Al Buraki Amal Al Riyahi. Now we will begin with our award winners for our Medical Lab Technician Academic Award, Rara James. Our next academic award winner for medical lab technician is Dalia Shehadi.
Our next placement award winner is Zainab Al Kafaji. And for our Leadership Award, Melanie Gowan. Now we will begin with our personal support worker students. Eugene Fedin. Rina Gurung. Junalyn Kissing. Yolanda Diaz Rubio. And our academic award winner for personal support worker, Michelle Martin. Our placement award winner for personal support worker is Jevelyn Lorraine Quito. Now we will begin our community and developmental service worker students. Krishna Wartney. Mayada Rifai. Now we will begin with our future graduates. Farhia Daher. <laughs> Yasmin Akkad. <laughs> Farhia West. Aya Sabah. Mikel Adikonel. Marwa Sabah. Estella Agabaj. Bad. Now for our academic award winner for community and developmental service worker, Ganesh Ganwali. Noor Tulumat for Academic Award. <laughs> Natalie Mawik. And for placement award, Sabah. 
Surubini. For Leadership Award, Nibal Shusha. Our next program is Medical Office Administration. Amal Al Khatib with honors. Monica Dumaneski with, with honors. Congratulations. Alia Darwan with honors. <laughs> Lubna Hasib with honors. Shahina Noor Khan with honors. Manal Shawish. Shaheen Guzil. And for Academic Award in Medical Office Administrator, Emilyn Borinili. Dalia Hilal, Academic Award. For Leadership Award, goes to Hana Abdul. Another Leadership Award goes to Kareem Gutierrez. Our next program is Advanced Aesthetics and Spa Operations. Khadija Alafif. Norma Hughes with honors. Chamika Johnson. Mariana Bushra. Now for our future graduates, Tamar Williams. Sarah Smith. Woo! 
Yvette Bury, Leadership Award. Gina Aranas. Alia Jabri. Alam Hamidat. Kaylee Gallen with honors. Mila Iskander. Jade Lewis. Jolene Liu. Now we will be begin with our clinical research program. Aisha Taki with honors. Shumaila Shirez, Academic Award. Carmen Sita Lee. Dana Dascolo with honors. Yeah. Aymad Al Hamda with honors. Aymad. Abadam Lola Olicia Adisio Abulirin with honors Giraldine Tuosang with honors Ambrisio Toussaint with honors. Samir Mohammed Said with honors. Anik Abidat Alaropi with honors. Mohammed Imam. With honors, Nada Ali with honors, Nahid. Akhlari with honors. Nada Omar with honors. 
honors class. <laughs> Charmin Yusuf with honors. Javeria Rashid with honors. For the Academic Awards, Hasna Al Husseini. Isra Abdurrahim. Laurentia Inisi. Ozma Kidawi. For placement awards. Isra Mustafa and with honors <laughs> Nada Hamad and with honors for leadership award Mai Mustafa with honors Congratulations. Now we will begin with our massage therapy students. Amy Giner. Bernardo John Grosso. For the academic award, Eureko Donovan. For our Leadership Award, Yogesh Mahaswari. And our last Leadership Award for Massage Therapy, Salah Al-Handani. Now to begin our intraoral dental assisting class, I ask Maggie and Maria to come up. Shada Shanun. Christiana Ramharak. Congratulations. Ruaida Sarhan. Juhain Al Farraj. <laughs> Vijayrati with honors. <laughs> Iman 
जरात Dania Safi with honors Wissam Kamal Mona Karim Lina Muhammadi with honors Noor Al Huda Shams Al Din Viviana Gomes Vilask Amar Marz Al Khayal And for future graduates Raghad Al Obedi Zubaida Harba Maha Salim Neil Colvi Ban Muhammad Tasneem Kshini Aya Taufiq Ru'a Al-Mahamid Hala Boulis Reem Al-Kurdi Adirawi Sadaf Nayol Zahra Azuhiri For the Academic Award in Dental Assistant, <laughs> Nastasia Kildo <laughs> with honors, <laughs> Amal Labiz with honors, an Academic Award. For Leadership Awards, Mariana Ruiz. Huh? <laughs> Marina Ruiz, sorry. Marianne Atea. For the Placement Awards, Linda Antronki
Now we will begin our business management program. I ask the respective instructors to come forward. Menji R.V. De La Rosa. Adil Hagmusa. Hanin Al Kafaji. Asim Mahmood. Marianne Agaibi. <laughs> Nadine Lejambe. Mario Buri. Marley Minhas with honors. Mona Jabai with honors. Iman Hamad, academic award with honors. Lahos Gulyas. <laughs> Sulafa Omer. <laughs> Imad Aloub. Mital Bashiri. Inad Aluwaid. Justina Salib. Monique Manalo. <laughs> Ali Al Azawi. <laughs> Zakaria Rihawi. Khalid Al Dulami <laughs> Jamal Al Dulami <laughs> Jude Bunia Denise Cross. Oh 
Academic Award winner, Farah Jabur. Leadership Award, Lubna Amin. <laughs> and last but not least for our Leadership Award, Badr Arman. Samar Harp. <laughs> Mewish Rahman. Muhammad Kara Muhammad. Now for accounting and payroll. Corazon Evangelista. Sue and Harry. Raida Zayed. Yao Cho <laughs> Natalia Misiha <laughs> Teja Golomari <laughs> Kumaran Kandastami Lay by with honors. For future graduates, Aitidal Al Khuri. Maya Najjar Omfam <laughs> Omar <laughs> Iraimi Garcia Marie Raphael mm -hmm. 
Nazreen Youssef. With honors. Najla Farid. With the hard work, really. Yeah. <laughs> Jean Bupolo, Bupola. Mi Li. For the Academic Awards, Wang Tran. Congratulations. Irini Mata, Academic Award. A special request for Harman, one of the students of clinical research. <laughs> Harman. For clinical research, Adisawa. Now I'd like to introduce someone who represents the meaning of resilience and hard work. Our guest speaker has broken so many barriers to get to where he is today. He's the first Egyptian to be elected as an MP in Canada and he's definitely made himself a force to be reckoned with. Most re recently, he was sworn in as a parliamentary assistant to the Minister of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries. This is someone who is an activist and loves giving back to his community. Without further delay, I'd like to introduce MPP Sharif El Sabawi. Let's give him a warm welcome. Thank you. I'm very humbled by the introduction. Thank you very much. I really enjoy to be here tonight with you because this is a great moment in each one of your uh, lives. It's, um, it's a milestone. You finished your study, you are ready now to go for workforce. I wish all of you the best of luck to find the job of the dreams, of your dreams. Uh, from our point of view, I mean, as, as an immigrant myself at some point, 24 years ago, I gone through what each one of you is going through now. And I understand the challenges but I wish you all the success, and I'm sure uh, you will find the right opportunity for you. Canada is a great country, and it gives opportunities for each one of us. So uh, enjoy your, your winning. Uh, look to your future. My advice for you, spend time and effort in the job you like to do because jobs are hard. So if you're not doing something you really like, you will never be excelled. You will never be excellent. You will be normal, like will be average. But this country is about excellency, about high quality. So my advice for you, look to your career, look at the job you want to do, because you will do it perfectly. And you will excel and you will have bigger, biggest success you can imagine, maybe beyond your dreams. So again, my congratulations for all of you. I thank, of course, the instructors team, the teachers, the professors, 
the organizers, administrators of the Oxford College, who did work hard to make this possible for all of you. And you will remember those nights, this night and other days, even the hard working days, exam nights, and you'll remember that and you will be happy and very satisfied about yourself. Congratulations, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Sabawi, for gracing us with your presence. We've had a lot of speeches tonight, but I think it's time for us to hear from one of our graduates now. This year's valedictorian was chosen based on academic standing in their program, school spirit, and community involvement. This graduate has repetitively shown her keen nature inside and outside of Oxford College. It's with great pleasure that I now call to the stage our valedictorian of the 2018-2019 graduating class to address her peers and accept her award. Please give a warm welcome to Mrs. Nahid Aklagi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor to welcome you the, as Valley uh, Victorian 2018-19 classes. Welcome members of board, managers, administrators, teachers, graduate students, family and friends. First of all, I would like to thank the family members who helped the student during the course. A special thanks to my husband and to my son. Uh, during the course, all helps during the course. A special thanks for all my teachers, all the teachers at Oxford College. We were so lucky to be with Harman for our clinical research course. Congratulations for having such great teachers at Oxford College. Thanks to Ronnie and all other staff for providing serious and also a friendly environment at the college. Thanks to my classmates who made some of my good memories in Canada. I was teaching at the university for more than 20 years. Sitting at a school desk after many years seems very difficult. But when you start, you will like it. Especially when you have no concern regarding the tuition and even more, you have some financial support. You can study better than nothing. In Oxford College, Everything, including the financial process, have been managed very well. We had many assignments, presentations, writing the protocols with the teamwork, and so many other challenging and tasks. Oxford College prepared the students for a new career in Canada. I also liked the college because of the diversity. So there was a chance to, be become, famili to become familiar with uh, different cultures, ethnicities, and foods. We had many parties, potlucks, job fair, and lots of fun during the course. I'm sure most of you have many qualifications, experiences, and capabilities we gained some useful experience during the placement. This, one, one of, uh, this was one of the positive parts of the course, and you could feel yourselves in your future job. Who tried a lot and worked hard for everyone to be at the best workplace was Ambrin. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Hopefully, some of the students have been hired and some are volunteering. To reach the right position, 
we must try more and more. It's not easy and takes more time. Please do not give up and continue for what you want. If you really want, you can do it. Just think positive, look positive, and step positive. In the end, I want to read a poem from one of the famous Persian poets, Maulana, who is known as Rumi. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. It means you are not a human being with a knowledge. You are all the knowledge within you. A lot of energy you have. You are very precious. Believe in yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nahid, for representing the graduating class so well. This concludes our ceremony, and we have a few important announcements before we leave. We will be taking group photos of our graduates, families, and staff immediately following this announcement. We also have some refreshments in the atrium. Graduates, you'll be keeping your gowns, caps, and tassels as a memento of this amazing evening. Thank you to all of our guests, including family, friends, instructors, staff, guest speakers, and our corporate office. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for all that you've done and continue to do to support our graduates and their success. Congratulations once again, class of 2018, 2019. Woo!